Hey, what's up YouTube? It's ICU and the day we've all been waiting for is finally here. The iOS 13 jailbreak is now available. That's right, CheckRain has been released and we can jailbreak iOS 13 on up to the iPhone 10 and iOS 13.2.2. I'm going to show you guys exactly how to do that in today's video. Now before we get into it, I wanted to give a huge shout out and a personal thank you for myself and on behalf of all of you guys, my awesome subscribers, to everyone who helped make this a possibility. So. Thank you, Luca Tedesco, Arg P, Axiom X, Danny Lazinski, Jay Walker, Adam Demzai, Little Lalo, Nitto TV, Jamie Bishop, Pim Skex, Sam Bingner, and Seguza, and everyone else who helped them and collaborated with the Check Ring development team to make this thing a possibility, guys. Because again, they did release such an all powerful tool that we couldn't even conceivably imagine without them doing this incredible work. Seriously, guys, this is about to revolutionize the entire jailbreak game because it's going to lead to a permanent, well, it already has, it's led to a permanent jailbreak for the iPhone 10 and lower. And even though it doesn't support newer devices, don't freak out because they are going to get a jailbreak as well. In fact, probably even as a direct result of this, there will be more jailbreaks that include support for newer devices because a permanent jailbreak environment means that security researchers will be able to discover exploits that much easier, or rather vulnerabilities that will inevitably lead to brand new kernel exploits that new jailbreaks can be based on. So it's just fantastic news all the way around. But let's get into some of the other caveats of this utility. Again, as I mentioned, this is not going to support newer devices. If you want a jailbreak status checker page for A13 and A12, which of course includes the iPhone 11 series, iPhone XS series and XR, as well as the 2018 iPads and even the newer 2019 iPads that were introduced, then check down below. The very second link in the description will be my jailbreak status checker page. It's very similar to the one that we had for iOS 13 that has now been updated. You can see that now the jailbreak is out. Our iOS 13 page has a green yes instead of a red no. Well, the exact same thing is going to happen for A12 and A13. Once that jailbreak drops, that no is going to be replaced with a green yes. Beyond that though, you are going to need a computer. You cannot do this without a computer because it relies on that Checkmate boot ROM exploit. That's so low level, it has to be exploited over USB. That's the only way. And yeah, that's kind of a drawback, but it means that we're going to be able to jailbreak every single version of iOS, which is so incredibly cool. And as of now, it only supports Mac OS, so no Windows right now. Sorry, Windows users. You're going to have to borrow a Mac if you want to be able to jailbreak right now. All right, so the first thing I want you guys to do on a Mac is visit that article, the very first one down below in the description, and then I just want you guys to scroll down until you see the CheckRain download button, and then it's going to redirect you to the official CheckRain website, and then just click get the beta now, and then click on download for Mac OS, and it's going to put the DMG or disk image inside your downloads folder. And before we begin, I do wanna stress and reiterate what the developers of Checkrain themselves say for the first release. Quote, this release is an early beta preview and as such should not be installed on a primary device. We strongly recommend proceeding with caution. So just operate with that in the back of your mind as you jailbreak iOS 13. All right, and then just mount the image by double clicking it to open it and you'll receive a little window like this. Basically what you're going to do is just drag CheckRain over into your applications folder. And once it's in your applications folder, you need to actually open Finder, go to applications, and then you need to open CheckRain from within inside applications. Now you're going to probably get a notification, actually not probably, you will get a notification that says that you need to authenticate CheckRain first. So you need to go inside of system preferences, go to security and privacy, and it will pop up with a message here that says open anyway. You need to click on that to actually open up CheckRain. You're going to get a security warning about it when you do 
do so because it's an application that you downloaded from the internet. Apple's really great about letting you know um, which applications could potentially be harmful, but CheckRain is not. It's just a security precaution put in place by Apple. So once you do open it from your applications folder, you're going to be greeted with this interface here. It says, welcome to CheckRain. Connect your iPhone, iPod Touch, or iPad to begin. Now, we've mostly been talking about what this will not support, but that's kind of because it's an all-encompassing thing. Any device that can run iOS 13 that's not powered by an A12 or A13 CPU will be supported. So basically the iPhone 6s up to the iPhone 10. And in fact, it does also function on iOS 12 as well from iOS 12.3 and up, but we're mostly focused on iOS 13 because this is the very first iOS 13 jailbreak and I myself could not be more pumped guys. So what I want you guys to do now that we have CheckRain open is just connect your device to your computer via a standard USB cable. And once it is connected, you're going to need to authenticate that connection if you have yet to. And what I mean by that is inside of Finder under the device tab, you're going to need to navigate to it. If again, you are on Mac OS 10.15 or up, you will actually have Finder instead of iTunes. If your Mac is a little bit older and it has iTunes instead, you're gonna to have to open up iTunes and you're going to have to essentially click on continue inside of iTunes and then trust on your device as the pop-up appears. And inside of Finder, you just initiate it by again navigating to the device, tapping on trust or clicking on trust inside of Finder, and then again tapping on it on your iOS device. And once that connection has been established, then you're going to be able to use this. And before we begin, you need to back up your device on on your computer first before you begin. So inside of Finder or iTunes, if you're on an older Mac, because although you're probably not going to encounter any sort of complications, the off chance is always there. So make sure you have a full backup of your data and you can do that inside of Finder, again, iTunes. And before we get started, I wanted to show you guys here that this iPhone 10 is in fact running iOS 13.1.3. So it has detected that my iPhone 10 is connected and we're going to go ahead and click on start at the bottom. And it says that we need to put our device into DFU mode. And it says that it's going to guide us through how to actually enter DFU mode. We're going to click next, but I also did want to say that that very first link down below in the description will have instructions for you on how to enter DFU mode based on which device you have. So if you're at all confused or lost, you can follow that as well. It will take a few tries, but you're going to need to be able to master it because it's something that you're going to have to do anytime you need to boot tethered. So let's go ahead and click on next right now. And it's going Going to put our device into recovery mode first and it says that it's going to do this to essentially prevent file system corruption so finder did pop up we want to close or cancel this and we're going to close out of finder and it's telling us how to enter dfu mode so it says get ready and it says time to put your device into dfu mode locate the buttons as marked below on your device and check the instructions to the right hit start when you're ready to begin entering DFU mode. So what we're going to do, we can familiarize ourselves with these steps in advance. So let's go ahead and hit start and we're going to hold down the side button for five seconds, four, three, two, one. And then we're going to press and hold both side and volume down together release the side and continue holding volume down. It looks like I didn't quite do it. It didn't actually enter DFU mode because we do have an Apple logo. So it is a little complex, but it will take some time to get used to. So let's go ahead and try this again. We're going to hit start and then next, it's going to put our device into recovery mode again and we can follow the steps. You can also just count yourself because you really only want to hold the volume down and the side button together on an iPhone 10 style device or an iPhone 8 for essentially three seconds. So let's get this started here. So let's go ahead and hit start again. And we'll hold down the side button. Release it. Side and volume down. Release it and now I'm just holding volume down. Um, the timer didn't actually match up with the proper instructions on how to enter DFU mode exactly. It was too long of holding the side button and the volume down button. 
but um, essentially you can see here that it is already deploying the jailbreak on this device, guys. Look at that. I can't believe it. We're about to have an iOS 13 jailbreak. Wow, I'm really seriously having flashbacks here to the red snow days with this scrolling text here. So it says it's booting the device right now and it says it's all done. So let's go ahead and slide to unlock. And uh, we are going to have to boot tethered as well. So let's go ahead and open this. And we're going to tap on exit because it says it needs a connection. Let's go ahead and tap on check rain again. And it says that right now for the loader, we can install Cydia. So let's go ahead and tap on Cydia followed by install Cydia. And this is just going through the process of installing Cydia, which is a third party package manager that uh, is known all over the globe, guys. Cydia is definitely renowned and it is my favorite third party package and tweak manager. This is how you're going to use anything related to your jailbreak or how you're going to obtain anything related to jailbreaking rather for those of you who are new to the scene. It's how you're going to install tweaks. It's basically how you're going to interface with your device and install things. So it says that it is installing Cydia right now. Let's just go ahead and wait for that to finish. I'm just going to let it play through so you guys can see approximately how long it'll take. Okay, so you can see we do have Cydia. So let's go ahead and open it. And uh, I'm actually really surprised because in the days of old with Red Snow, you would actually have to boot tethered after your initial jailbreak, if I remember correctly. But um, anytime you reboot, you're going to have to boot tethered anyway. So just know that. But the first time, you're not going to have to. You can see, guys, we have Cydia. I'm going to scroll down to the bottom and you'll see here that it confirms that this is an iPhone 10 comma three. That's the identifier for this iPhone 10 global model, iOS 13.1.3 with the latest iteration of Cydia. I just can't believe this, guys. I'm just over the moon pumped right now that we have a jailbreak for iOS 13. Keep in mind though, again, this is a tethered jailbreak. So we're going to have to do exactly what I said. We're going to have to reboot tethered anytime we want to use our stuff. So let's go ahead and try to install something. Let's just grab cylinder. So let's tap on install followed by confirm. And you can see it's working through here. So let's go ahead and hit restart springboard. And it looks like we did crash there. So cylinder needs to be updated, but you can see the main point here is that we have a jailbreak and it also actually uses mobile substrate, which is pretty cool. So we can hit okay to that and we can restart it just by tapping on exit and then restart and it's going to respring. So this is actually an awesome time to mention this. Anytime, again, your device respring's, you're not going to have to boot tethered. It's only when your device reboots or does a hard reset that you're going to have to do this. And I do want to say kind of as a warning that you guys should be careful when you're installing things through Cydia as a number of tweaks do not currently work yet on iOS 13. And uh, with that said, again, I do actually recommend creating and maintaining a regular backup of your device. Even after you're done jailbreaking, you can do that inside of Finder and you can continually update your backup that way. All right, so now I'm going to show you guys what happens when you reboot because this part is important as well. So I'm just going to slide the power off and then I'm going to turn this thing back on and I'll be right back. All right, so here it is. I'm going to swipe up, unlock. We're going to swipe over and you'll notice that Cydia just crashes. So this is a semi tethered jailbreak, so to speak, which means that you'll still be able to reboot if your device dies as you just saw right there. But to actually use anything that you've obtained through your jailbreak, you're going to have to plug it back into your computer and you're going to have to relaunch CheckBrain. So it's detected that my device is connected. We're just going to hit start again. It's going to tell us to enter DFU mode. These steps are exactly the same. It's going to put the device into recovery mode and then it's going to walk us through the steps once more. So let's just wait for it to put this thing into recovery mode. And uh, now we can go ahead and click on start and it's going to say prepare and let's go ahead and do this. So we're going to hold side button for a few seconds here until it basically goes black. 
and then we're going to release and then start holding the side button and the volume down button for just a couple seconds and then release the side button and continue holding volume down and then it will put it straight into DFU mode. It takes a little bit to master, but uh, once you do, it's fairly easy to get right most of the time. So you can see it's going through the exploitation process once more here and uh, it is just booting now. So this is exactly like what we had the very first time we jailbroke. It's booting tethered though. You're not going to lose any of your data. Again, if you follow this tutorial properly, it's just going to reboot tethered. It's going to exploit the boot ROM. And again, it's going to re-enable your jailbreak. So let's go ahead and swipe up in our passcode and uh, it's going to respring because we do have cylinder installed still and it crashed. So once you do install a tweak that is incompatible with your device, essentially you're going to have to uninstall it. Cause you'll see here, anytime I try to swipe, that's what Cylinder does. It applies animations for swiping. It's just going to crash the springboard. So we need to hit okay to that and we need to launch up Cydia and we need to uninstall it. So this is also probably going to serve as a good tutorial for how to uninstall things as well. So we can go down here and we can tap on cylinder. We're going to tap on remove. And uh, I did just remove it by tapping on it. And uh, it didn't work the first time, uh, but it did work the second time when you tap on modify and you can tap remove. So I actually did that off camera there, just trying it again, but it worked. So you can see that now it has been removed. The incompatible tweak is gone and now we can use our device. You can also restore your root file system and this will basically just unjailbreak your device. We're going to talk about this in a subsequent tutorial, but guys, that's it. We're now jailbroken with CheckRain. How awesome is that? Be sure to give these guys a huge shout out if you appreciate their work. Let me know down below in the comment section if you're excited. Stay tuned for our top tweaks videos and subsequent coverage. And until next time, this is ICU signing out.